Vanessa, and in today's video, you will be taken through very detailed steps on how to froth milk, from purging your steam one to perfectly pouring your milk. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to froth milk. It is very important before frothing milk to purge your steam one. This ensures that all leftover water, milk, or condensation is not frothed into your milk. Start by pouring enough milk that it sits just under where the spout of the frothing jug ends. You want the steam wand to be placed at 50% the length of the radius, which is one fourth into the jug. This will give you the best froth and allow you to achieve the correct motion of the milk. You want to see the milk begin to spin and no bubbles should appear. As always, when frothing milk, the low hissing noise is key. Anything besides that means you need to adjust the position of the wand. As you froth, your milk will begin to rise and take up more volume in the jug. When this is happening, slightly lower the jug while keeping the position of the wand intact. If you do not nail it on your first try, just remember, practice makes perfect. Turn off the steam when the frothing jug is warm to the touch, or between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius. Then give the jug a little spin and pour. By spinning the jug, this gives the milk its perfect texture for your drink. If there are any bubbles in the frothed milk, just give the jug a little bang on the counter and this will break up any of those bubbles. Now that is how you froth milk. And if you don't get it the first try, don't worry. Just remember, practice makes perfect. And be sure to subscribe below.